Happy Halloween, everyone. Let's get ready for the mystery ingredient challenge. There are many fantastic channels participating. Just click on the hashtag to see their videos. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm happy you stopped by. Today, I'm taking part in a mystery ingredient challenge. The mystery ingredients I've been given are sweet potato, applesauce, and Cheetos. The recipe I've come up with for this challenge is a apple sweet potato muffin with a Cheeto cheddar cheese crumble. Say that five times fast. This is definitely a savory muffin, not a sweet muffin since I'm not adding any sugar. The sugars are coming out naturally from the sweet potato, the applesauce, and the apple chunks I'm putting in. So this is a healthier muffin, I think, and it could be served at brunch, at dinner, or if you like savory for breakfast, eat it for breakfast. In a medium bowl, we're gonna combine two cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, and three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna whisk this together. Now to a large bowl, we're gonna add three eggs, three large eggs. That looks good. To our eggs, we're going to add one cup of grated cheddar cheese. You can grate it yourself or you can buy it already pre-shredded. And now for our sweet potato, this is one cup of shredded, <laughs> I can say that, shredded sweet potato. Now we have a half of a cup of plain yogurt. If you don't have yogurt and you have sour cream, you can always use sour cream, but for this I'm using plain yogurt. And last but not least, we have um, one stick of melted butter, unsalted butter, that is. And we're gonna mix this together. Nice and colorful. Here I have a Granny Smith apple that I'm going to peel and chop into little pieces. And we're almost done chopping the apples. I wanted to have little chunks of apple in every bite of the muffins that we're gonna make. Now I have my wet ingredients back, and to that, we're going to add a half cup of unsweetened applesauce. And here is the apple that we cut up. Now we're gonna add our dry ingredients to our bowl and we're gonna just mix so that everything comes together. You wanna do this in stages so you don't have too much of the dry ingredients in here. This is going to be a very thick batter. Now for our last mystery ingredient, the Cheetos. I've never done this before. I've never made a, che a cheddar Cheeto crumble. So I'm gonna add it. <laughs> So I'm adding in Cheetos. I'm just kind of looking at it and guesstimating. I'm not gonna grind them into like a flour. I'm just gonna, I wanna make them crunchy bits. So these are the crunchy Cheetos. All right, let's see what happens with this. All right, they're locked and loaded and I'm gonna press the chop setting here. And see what we come up with. It's more finely chopped than I'd like, but I'll work with it. We'll see what happens. I'm leaving my my mini food processor out in case I need to chop more of this up. But in go the Cheetos into a bowl. And this is a half cup of shredded cheddar. I'm going to take my hands, which are clean by the way, and I want to mix everything together. Oh, this is, okay, this is working because the cheddar, the Cheetos are adhering to the cheddar cheese. That's good. I think this will be enough. And so that's what it looks like. Whenever I'm baking muffins, I always use cups cake liners because it really cuts down on the mess. You have no sticking and it's easy cleanup. All right, now we're gonna scoop our batter 
into the muffin tin. Now I'm filling these to the top because they're so dense they're not going to rise like a regular muffin would or a cupcake and I'm just putting about two medium scoops I think these are medium scoops of the batter in and I'm just spreading it out with my offset spatula like that And now for the fun part, we're gonna take our crumble, whoop, and we're just gonna place it on top, kind of patting it down a little bit into our dough. We're gonna bake our muffins for about 30 minutes in a 350 degree oven. And you're probably wondering, isn't that a long time? It is, but the reason it needs to bake is these are filled with moisture. You have sweet potato in here. You have apple in here. You have cheese. That could add some moisture. So we're gonna bake them for about 30 minutes and until these tops get a little bit brown, I am gonna check them at 15 to see how they're doing. If the tops are too brown, I might cover it with some tin foil. So here are the muffins out of the oven and you'll notice one's gone. These are cooled, obviously and um, they didn't even make it that long. One's already missing. I love the orange color from the Cheetos and the cheddar cheese. I'm just putting them on a cooling rack right now. And I did check them for doneness. I put a toothpick down the middle and it came out clean, which meant they were done. And if you remember, I said I was gonna check on them at 15 minutes and see if they were browning and if they were browning too much and I felt like they were so I did put tin foil over the top. So I've cut open one of these muffins and I definitely get the apple and I can see the sweet potato in there and the crumble on top so I'm just gonna take some. Mmm it's so moist inside. I was worried about that with how dense they were but I think just the moisture from the sweet potato and the apple sauce gave it that extra moistness that it needed. It's a really delicious savory muffin. Well, thanks for joining me today, everyone, for this mystery ingredient challenge. Had a lot of fun. This is a great recipe. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I love hearing from you, my subscribers and viewers. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.